Today is Saturday, the 4th of June. We're up here at Abundant Life Baptist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we out doing today? To share the gospel. We are doing a survey of our neighbors of the church, and the survey includes spiritual questions that hopefully will give us the opportunity to share our faith and to uh, lead someone to the Lord. That's right. We're casting seed, and we're praying that the it'll fall on fertile soil, and that God will lead us to those who need Him. That's right. We're excited to have Mary with us, who has not been out before. Mary, nope. could you kind of share that? How, how are you feeling today, and what's your game plan for today? Well, I feel real comfortable, but it took me quite a while to decide to come. My game plan is I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray that as you guys all speak, that, that people will listen, hearts will be open, people will hear and, and accept Christ. Excellent. Well, guys, I'm excited. Uh, Gary, would you pray for us? You betcha. Okay. Father, thank you that uh, we can gather here with some of the veterans of the street to uh, sharpen ourselves in presenting the gospel. And Lord, we just pray that uh, you'll go before us and that you'll give us favor in the eyes of those that we'll get to see today and that uh, your Holy Spirit will bring about the conviction of sin, righteousness, and judgments where it's needed and that will be an encouragement to those who already know you. And we just pray that you'll use us today. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Even though I know, Doug, have you cut off? Those associations that are helping you have access to this, are they cut out from your life? Do you need help cutting them off? No, because I've been I've been doing really well for the off and on. <laughs> you know, for someone struggling with what I'm trying to go through and get out of, I've hardly messed with stuff at all. I haven't hit anything hard other than smoking some weed, you know. I'm saying, you know, I know it's bad. I'm trying working through it. I'm not yeah, trying. To, I'm not trying to get it every day. I'm not trying to do it all the time like I was. I'm trying not to do anything. I'm trying to do normal things. Yeah. And you know, go to my girl, my kids' softball game right now. Yeah. yeah. What time's the softball game? It's already started. But you know, there's a reason I was late and I and I didn't go with her when she left. Mm -hmm. You've you given us some. Your opinion? Well, you got In your personal opinion, what do you understand it takes for a person to go to heaven? <laughs> good life. I mean, not a good life from the standpoint of a lot of money to do whatever you want, but live a good life. Be, well, I like to always be friendly if you can't tell. Kind of try to be a good person. Try to be a good person and, and things like that. Don't do serious sins, you know, Catholic Church, I don't know what you know about them, but they got what they call venial sins, like, get the hell out of here, you know, yeah. that type of thing. Okay. Be nice to okay. Support your church. Yeah. Um, what do you think Jesus said when he, when he said one must be born again? What did he mean by that? Well, baptism. By baptism? Well, sure. Okay. Everybody knows that, right? <laughs> Are you guys Does the baptism do the saving? Actually, in the Catholic Church, you baptize and then you're confirmed where you become a soldier of Christ. Okay, so when does the saving take place? Saving? Well, of course, you have confession, too, and uh, I don't know, if you don't go to confession, you die. I don't know what the deal would be then, because I haven't experienced it yet, and I'm not sure I want to yet. Yeah. But uh, I know I'm getting close, because I'll be 77 in another two weeks, so i got to be getting close to the end time. Yeah. And, of course, I sold with... I, I charge that. Uh, the Pharisees of the Pharisees, and this is before there was ever a Catholic church, a Baptist church, a Methodist church, a Lutheran, a Protestant, any any church's period. And he came to Christ, and here's what it says. It says, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art our teacher come from God, for no man can do these, do these miracles that thou dost, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah, I know. So what did he mean by being born again? Because it, it's, there was no Catholic church then, there was no Baptist church, there was no church. That boils down to interpretation, and I can't tell you right off the bat what that particular statement might mean in a Catholic church. 
All right, we're with Mary. We've been out doing local outreach and evangelism today. Mary, share with us a little bit of what you learned today. What what was your preconceived notions prior to your first time, and then what what what's your experience been today? Okay, I'm. I you know I tried to not have a preconceived notion, but truly, it was that we would be saving lives. We would be bringing folks to Christ. And what I learned was that we planted seeds. We planted some really good seeds today. Um, it was really rewarding because there were some needs, and there were some people that just needed to hear a different story, the true story of what it means to be saved by Christ. Um, what happened today was you, I watched Christ in action. I mean, I saw that we went to one house, and that house sent us to another house, and it was all so necessary, and they all needed to learn, you know, the true word of Christ, and the guys were able to do that. Do you have any question that the Holy Spirit was with us today? None whatsoever. It was exhilarating because he was there. And you know, my job was to pray. And it became so easy to pray for these folks and for what was going on. It was an awesome day. You guys need to do it. Can you share a, a short recap of the two of the two challenging visits we had? Kind of just what happened? Yeah, the first one we went to, he was very receptive, very, you know, eager to talk to us. Um, was not maybe not born again but yet we planted so many seeds and his wife came out and you could tell she wanted him to lead and you guys were able to kind of give him some words some scripture that would really help show him how to move and then they were very concerned about a neighbor down the street who really needed and, and by God's intervention right there needed us to be there this guy lost his job his wife lost his job was, you know drugs and alcohol in the home and didn't bring him to Christ, but man, we were there to boost him up, to let him know that Christ was there, and that we loved him, and that we'd be there for him. Yeah, absolutely. Mary, thank you much. Are we going to see you out again? You bet. And I want to see everybody else out, too. That's right. Thank you. And I'm excited. Jim's always excited. We had a good day, didn't I'm we, Jim? excited. <laughs>